Republican Mike Carey is headed to Washington, D.C. Columbus voters said no to issue seven. New faces are joining Columbus City Council. Reynoldsburg voters deciding on a new bond issue and a close race for Worthington School Board. NBC4 is your local election headquarters. Our team of reporters and anchors is working all throughout Central Ohio to bring you up to the minute results and reaction from candidates. Tonight, we begin in the 15th district. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Marshall. Hello to you. I'm Kerry Charles. Republican Mike Kerry received the majority of votes over Democrat Allison Russo. Mm -hmm. We want to now take a look at how the candidates fared. Kerry received 57% of the votes. Russo did not get enough of the rural votes needed. She walks away tonight with 42% of the vote. NBC4 bringing you team coverage. NBC4's Dan Perlman is with the Russo campaign tonight. But we begin with Adrian Robbins at the Kerry campaign in Lancaster with more on what Kerry told his crowd of supporters tonight. Adrian. Yeah, Mike Carey declined to answer questions from the press, but he did take the podium to give a speech to people here in Lancaster tonight. Now, during his remarks, he talked about the importance of keeping this district red. This is a district that former President Donald Trump won by 14 points in 2020. Carey also touched on hot button national issues like immigration, schools, and the spending bill. He predicts his win will be the beginning of a red wave across the country. There are some fundamental things that we have to do in this country, and we as Republicans need to stand up. Now, what we did tonight, what we did tonight was give Nancy Pelosi a wake-up call that her day was Kerry is a longtime coal lobbyist. He said today that there are too many career politicians in Washington and that he will won't be one of them. Local for you in Lancaster, I'm Adrian Robbins, NBC4. All right, the Democratic candidate Allison Russo did not appeal to the rural counties. NBC4's Dan Perlman is live at her campaign headquarters in Franklin. And Dan, we heard from her within the hour. Well, yeah, Carrie, you know, she just wrapped up her speech here about 25 minutes or so ago. Representative Allison Russo thanking her supporters at tonight's watch party hosted by the Franklin County Democrats. Now, Russo says she did call to congratulate Mike Carey on his victory. This comes at the end of a day in which she told me she stopped by four polling places talking with voters in the 15th congressional district. Yesterday, she was endorsed by President Joe Biden, but ultimately that was not enough to win this race. Tonight, she said we deserve more leaders in Congress who will take on the tough fights and who will deliver for Ohio's working families. We must continue to advocate for workers' rights, to push for affordable health care, to fight to protect the right to vote, and to root out the corruption that is robbing our Ohio families of their hard-earned money. And Russo concluded tonight by saying she is built for tough fights and she is ready for the next one in 2022. Local for you in Columbus, Dan Earl. Thank you, Dan. Now, leading up to this election, we've been an oddly shaped map that makes up the 15th congressional district. The shape of that map makes it difficult for any Democrat to win in that district. So much talk about gerrymandering in Ohio. NBC4's Brad Johansson joins us now in the studio with the county by county breakdown, and it kind of is what our pollsters expected, right, Brad? It's exactly what we've been talking about, Colleen. You've been highlighting it for some. This is the 15th district, and how we are figuring things out and most of this is red while there are large cities in columbus and in athens most of this is painted red now allison russo what she did well is athens county 62 percent but by the number of votes about 2500 and the other county she did very well in that's franklin county so we move up to franklin county here 54 percent of the vote but still less than 7,000 votes, so less than 10,000. If you want to go by the county by county, as we talked about that, Colleen, let's go from the bottom. Vinton County, Mike Carey, 75%. 73% for Mike Carey and Ross. In Pickaway, 73%. Perry, 72. Morgan, 74%. And what you do county by county after that results that this is a red congressional district. And there's not much at this point, Colleen, that's going to change that. It sure isn't. All right, it'll be interesting to see if there's a change in that map next year. Thanks, Brad.